example based on ask the circuit let this is the first example This is the circuit diagram. So now question is that initially switch S was open. Initially switch S was open and all capacitor was uncharged and all capacitors were uncharged all capacitors were uncharged now at t is equal to 0 switch as close so find first part of the problem The charge on capacitor, find the charge and current in all branches, all branches at t is equal to 0, the first part and second part at t is equal to infinity. There are two parts here to find the current and charge on all branches as well as charges q1 q2 in the capacitor at t0 and t infinity so very interesting here question here see at the very beginning when we have solved the problem or we have discussed this thing it at t0 and capacitor was uncharged so what we have to do capacitor act just like a short circuit or it act or we can replace capacitor with a conductive wire so at t is equal to 0 at t is equal to 0 if we are making a actual diagram ki how it we have so diagram will be like this this capacitor we can replace with a wire and here resistors here 20 ohm second capacitor will also with a wire and this is your 10 ohm and then this is the diagram at t is equal to 0 now see from here since t0 there is no charge on the capacitor first value we can say q1 is equal to q2 is equal to 0 at t is equal to 0 now see here current your i and this is the distribution your i1 i2 and i3 either we can say these two capture your short circuit because the potential difference across the capacitor 10 ohm and 20 ohm is 0 because these are the same point or if you want to solve by using Kirchhoff law then also you can do just apply Kirchhoff law in this loop if I am going in this loop like this so minus 20 I1 is equal to 0 
minus 20 i1 is 0, that gives you i1 is equal to 0. Similarly, if we are using the Kirchhoff line in this loop, then also it will give you minus 10 i3 is equal to 0, so i3 will be also 0. So, being these 10 ohm and 20 ohm resistors are in a short circuit, the current across these two resistors will be 0. So, i1 is 0 as well as i3 is also 0. Now, we can apply Kirchhoff law in this loop. So, when we are applying Kirchhoff law in this loop, so what we will get? i2 is equal to your 100 by 10 or 10 ampere. So, net current i, i is equal to your i1 plus i2 plus i3. So, i is also your 10 ampere. So, this is the solution of the problem at t is equal to 0. Now, see at t is equal to infinity, second part. If we are discussing at t is equal to infinity, so t infinity means that is called your after steady state. After steady state means uh, when the capacitor is completely charged. When capacitor is completely charged, they are not taking further charges. So, branches across which capacitors are connected, across those branches, flow of charge will not be there. So, when capacitor you are completely charged, this one as well as this one. So, since it is not taking any charge, the charge will not flow through this capacitor or through this branch as well as charge will not flow through this branch also. Then we are making our diagram like this. Okay, this is your Q1 charge. Here 20 ohm. This is a diagram at T is your infinity. Better we can say at, uh, at a steady state. At a steady state. Diagram here still will almost same here. Only one thing we can say. So we can write since capsule is completely charged. So we can write since capacitor is completely charged. completely charged, so they are not taking any further charges, they are not taking any further charge, so there is no current, no current across a branch in which capacitor is connected, no current across a branch in which capacitor is connected, in which capacitor is connected. So, no current across a branch in which capacitor is connected means we can say here as we took I1, I2 in current in these branches, so I1 and I2 will be 0. So, I1 is equal to I2 that is a 0. So, whatever current flow that flow through this branch here. So, I is equal to your I3. Now, if this is your 10 ohm, here also 10 ohm. So, I is equal to your I3 which will be your 100 by 20 5 ampere. This is the value of I and I3. Now, next point, the calculation of your charge. For calculation of charge, we can apply Kirchhoff law in the, in this loop. When we are applying Kirchhoff law in this loop, since I1 0, so we can write here minus Q1 by C1. C1 value given your 2 microfarad. 
सो ऑन अप्लाइंग किरचाफला माइनस क्यू वन बाय सी वन नो करंट हियर नाउ हियर आई थ्री इज देयर दैट योर फाइव एम्पियर वी आर गोइंग इन दिस साइड अपोजिट डायरेक्शन इट विल कम योर पॉजिटिव तो आई थ्री इंटू टेन यानी फाइव इंटू टेन फिफ्टी प्लस फिफ्टी दिस इज जीरो सो की वन इज योर फिफ्टी सी वन एंड सी वन वैल्यू गिवन योर टू माइक्रो फैरड तो दिस विल बी योर हंड्रेड माइक्रो कुलम तो चार्ज की वन इज योर हंड्रेड माइक्रो कुलम सिमिलरली वेन वी आर अप्लाइंग किर चाफला इन दिस लू सो वी कैन राइट इक्वेशन माइनस क्यू टू बाई सी टू माइनस क्यू टू बाई सी टू प्लस फिफ्टी अगेन जीरो सो क्यू टू योर फिफ्टी सी टू एंड सी टू वैल्यू गिवन थ्री सो वन फिफ्टी माइक्रो कुलम सो क्यू टू एंड क्यू वन वैल्यू वी कैन गेट लाइक दिस इन दिस मैनर वी आर सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम एट ए स्टडी स्टेट सो एट ए स्टडी स्टेट वॉट वी हैव टू टेक देर इज नो करेंट अक्रॉस द ब्रांच इन विच कैपेसिटर इज कनेक्टेड एंड देन वी कैन अप्लाई किरचाफला नो सी वन इन अदर एग्जाम्पल in this 100 ohm battery in this 100 volt battery and 1 ohm internal resistance connected like this and this capacitors have capacity of 1 microfarad this resistance here let 99 ohm and one another battery i have connected here which have emf 50 volt internal resistance here 1 ohm and now these are connected through switches like this 1 and 2 this is your switch s so first of all question is that first part see initially switch s was in position 1 for a long time initially switch s was in position 1 1 for long time so find the find the charge on capacitor and heat develop across 100 volt battery and heat develop across 100 volt battery so let we will solve one by one part first first see this one initially switch s was in position 1 for a long time find the charge on capacitor and heat develop across 100 volt battery see when the switch as was in position 1 for a long time there is no use of the lower part of the circuit then you can make the circuit like this we can make the diagram like this this is your 99 ohm This is your one ohm, hundred volt, and capacitance is your one micro farad. See, so as switch has shifted to position one, it means now we have connected the plates of capacitor with a hundred volt battery terminals. So because of the potential difference across the plates of capacitor and terminal of a cell charge flow. and that flow of charge will stop when the capacitor become fully charged so finally capacitor will have some charge here so let charge on the capacitor your q and since capacitor get fully charged the flow of charge has been stopped so there is no current in the circuit but before getting fully charged current was there in the capacitor during that time heat was dissipated across the 99 ohm and 1 ohm resistance the first 
I would like to calculate the charge on capacitor. Now, apply Kirchhoff law. When we are applying Kirchhoff law here, we will get minus Q by 1 plus 100 which is 0. So, this will become your Q is equal to your 100 micro coulomb charge. So, charge on capacitor your 100 micro coulomb. It means through cell 100 micro coulomb charge has flown in this direction. So, this is the one part of the answer find the charge on capacitor. Now, heat develop. According to the heat develop here, our energy conservation, initial energy plus work done by cell, by battery is equal to your final energy plus heat. Now, initial energy. Initial means when the switch was not connected, the initial energy in the capacitor was here 0. Work done by battery. Battery is supplying energy. As we know, work done by battery means charge flown through the cell into its EMF. Charge flown your 100, EMF is your 100. So, this will be your 10 to the power 4 microjoule. This is the work done by battery. And final energy. Final energy is stored in the capstone means half Q square by C plus heat. So now we would like to calculate 10 to the power 4 microjoule half Q square. Charge is your 100 micro coulomb. This will be your 10 to the power 4 into 10 to the power minus 6 minus 12 by C value 1 plus heat. So this can be written as 10 millijoule. This is your 5 millijoule plus heat. The heat is equal to your 5 millijoule. So this is the heat developed in the circuit during the flow of charge. So when current was flowing through the circuit, so this much amount of heat has been developed. But next part, but the question is that heat developed across 100 volt battery. But here total heat is your across 1 ohm because 1 ohm is the internal resistance. That indicate to whatever loss in the 1 ohm that will be the heat across the 100 volt battery. But that heat is your across 1 ohm as well as 99 ohm. And since both of them are series, in both of them current was same throughout the charging process. So, the direct heat, whatever heat that is directly proportional to their resistance. The heat across 1 ohm resistance, so heat across 1 ohm resistance will be will be 1 percent of total heat and 1 percent of total heat means 5 millijoule by 1 percent, 1 by 100. So, 5 by 100 millijoule, this is the heat developed across this or we can say 50 microjoule heat developed across battery. So, this is the first part. So, from the first part, we will keep the charge value Q here. So, charge on the capacitor. The charge on the capacitor, first part we can write from first part. Charge on capacitor Q is 100 micro coulomb. That we have to remember. Now, come to the second part. In the second part, Question is that now at T is equal to 0, switch has shifted from position 1 to 2. Switch has shifted from position 1 
to two. It means uh, from here to this. Find the current across fifty volt battery. as a function of function of time t and total heat develop total heat develop across 50 volt battery Total heat develop across fifty volt battery. So now the switch has shifted from position one to two. At this moment, capacitor is already having charge that is your hundred micro coulomb. So now, if we want to make a diagram, our circuit will be like this. In this manner, this is your ninety nine ohm. One ohm, fifty volt, and initially let initial charge Q naught we can say, or it is given hundred micro coulomb, capacitance here one micro farad. Now what will happen? See here. If we are looking the initial potential here, so initial charge was hundred micro coulomb, capacitance here one micro farad, the initial potential here hundred volt. But now we have connected your 50 volt battery. So what will happen? Here potential your more, and the battery potential your less. Because of that, we can say charge will flow from capacitor to the battery. It means capacitor will be in the discharging mode because capacitor potential your more than the external potential. The capacitor will be discharging mode. charge will flow like this so due to the flow of charge current will develop so let i is the current and q is the charge at time t so this charge is your at t is equal to 0 so we can write here let q is the charge and i is the current in the circuit at t is equal to t q is the charge and i is the current in the circuit at t is equal to t the first equation i is equal to your minus dq by dt because charge on the capacitor is decreasing now second equation by using kirchhoff law again we can make like this so minus q by c minus q by c current in this direction we are going in this direction so 99 ohm i plus 1 ohm the plus 100 i Plus fifty equal to zero, or if we are simplifying in the much better way, minus Q plus hundred C, and I value we can write minus dQ by dt plus fifty C equal to zero. So we can say hundred C dQ by dt is equal to fifty C minus Q. Now simplify this dQ dQ by fifty C minus Q is equal to your dT by Hundred C or minus dQ by Q 
क्यू माइनस फिफ्टी सी डी टी बाई हंड्रेड सी देन इंटीग्रेट टी जीरो चार्ज ऑन कैप्सर योर हंड्रेड माइक्रोकुलम टी टी चार्ज इज क्यू जैसे माइनस एल एन क्यू माइनस फिफ्टी सी बाई हंड्रेड सी हंड्रेड माइनस फिफ्टी नाउ इट बिकम यूर फिफ्टी टी बाई हंड्रेड सी एल एन क्यू माइनस फिफ्टी बाई फिफ्टी माइनस टी बाई हंड्रेड सी देन सिंप्लीफाई अगेन Q माइनस फिफ्टी इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी ई टू पावर माइनस टी बाई हंड्रेड सी वैल्यू वी कैन सब्सिट्यूट अगेन क्यू इज योर फिफ्टी वन प्लस ई टू पावर माइनस टी बाई हंड्रेड सो करेंट आई इज योर माइनस डी क्यू बाई डी टी विच इज योर वन बाई टू ई टू पावर माइनस टी बाई Hundred. This is the value of current. So first thing is that current across fifty volt battery as a function of time t, not total heat. Total heat means final charge. So final charge on capacitor. Final charge on capacitor. Final charge means when. Time is your infinity. So when time is your infinity, the Q value will be fifty. The Q is your fifty micro coulomb. The so final charge on capacitor is fifty micro coulomb. So this is the relation now. After that, we can apply conservation of energy. So we got current also as a function of time and charge also. Now how to get the Heat develop here. So now see. Now from conservation of charge, from conservation of charge and energy, we can write. See. Initial energy plus energy supplied or absorbed, energy supplied or absorbed, supply when positive, absorbed negative, by cell is equal to final plus heat. This is the equation conservation of energy. Initial energy means. When switch has been shifted from position one to position two, at that moment charge was your hundred micro coulomb. So initial energy half hundred micro coulomb, hundred to ten power minus six square by C. Capacitance of this given one micro farad to ten power minus six. This is the initial energy plus. Energy supplied by or absorbed. First of all, initial charge is 100 micro coulomb, and what is the final charge we have found? 50. It means uh, through the cell, 50 micro coulomb charge has flown like this. So that indicate battery was in charging mode. It means battery have absorbed energy. So when it has absorbed energy, so rather here positive it should be written with a minus sign. Minus. What done by the cell? Total charge passes through the cell into EMF. Fifteen to fifty, twenty-five hundred microjoule. This is the energy absorbed within the cell plus final energy. Final means when the charge is your fifty. So half fifty ten power minus six by C. C value again ten power minus six plus heat. Now see by energy conservation, so this can be written as one by two, ten power minus four minus eight, 
टेन पावर माइनस टू माइनस दिस इज जोल माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव इन टेन पावर माइनस फोर जोल इज इक्वेट योर वन बाई टू फिफ्टी इंटू फिफ्टी ट्वेंटी फाइव हंड्रेड टेन पावर माइनस सिक्स जोल प्लस हीट नाउ वी कैन सिंप्लीफाई है दिस इज योर सो जीरो पॉइंट फाइव इंटू टेन पावर माइनस टू जोल दिस योर माइनस पॉइंट टू फाइव इंटू टेन पावर माइनस टू जोल एंड दिस इज योर माइनस पॉइंट वन टू फाइव इंटू टेन पावर माइनस टू जोल इज इक्वल हीट सो आफ्टर सॉल्विंग दिस we will get here total heat is equal to your total heat h is equal to your 0.125 into 10 power minus 2 joule or we can say 1.25 milli joule this is the total heat develop and this heat develop across 99 ohm as well as One ohm resistance, but here they are asking heat develop across fifty volt battery. Across fifty volt battery means across here across one ohm. A total resistance here hundred ohm, and both resistance are in series. So current in the series, the heat will develop across the cell is your one percent of that. So heat across cell, heat across. 50 volt battery is one percent of total heat. Then it will be your 12.5 micro joule. So this is the heat developed across 50 volt battery, 12.5 micro joule. Now this is the another example. so in this manner we can solve the problem based on your rc circuit